Hi everyone, thanks for watching the series so far. Today we're trying some audio tracks because the last couple of videos we've done have been without any audio. Um, today we're tying number three of the series for the Christmas 2020 countdown. It's the Silver Doctor Rocker, and this is tied on one of my recycled guitar string balls. So we start off with a 1.8 millimeter liner tube and a three millimeter guitar string ball in silver. Uh, I'm using a 10 red thread. So we're just going to start off with an opossum underwing, dip dyed yellow with orange tips. And we just want to try and tie in as tightly as possible to the edge of the guitar string ball. This is going to help flare the materials as much as possible. Trim away the waste as close as you can get. Next, I'm going to add a first mid-wing of bright red tanuki. Uh, try and strip out as much as the under fur as possible because that's going to reduce the bulk when you're tying in. And we want to try and keep the guard hairs in as well because that adds a little bit of stiffness to the underwing. Again, I'm just looking over the top now to try and line everything up as much as possible and then cut off as tightly as possible as well. Next, I'm going to tie in a blue grizzle soft hackle. This is a hen hackle. Um, this one, we're just going to do a couple of turns because we're going to add another hackle after this. If it's possible, you want to try and wrap them in as tightly as possible um, because I don't want the materials to move too far forward from the guitar string ball. Otherwise, they lose their ability to, to push up against that resistance and everything sort of collapses. So as close as you can get them together. Next, I'm going to add my second middle wing, which is actually the longest of all of the wings. This is a silver fox tail with natural black tips that's been dyed in blue. As I want this part of the wing to be as slim as possible, I tie it in quite slim at the front and then just check for, for length at the back. I think it looks pretty nice. Maybe just pull out a couple of strands. I try to pull out top strands and then pull back the bottom strands. You'll see the bottom that I cut off here is tapered almost in reverse to how the wing is. Next, I'm adding some blue holographic flash. One strand doubled back is more than enough for the longest sections. Next, I'm tying in some silver holographic flash, a little bit shorter on the sides. Again, doubled back one strand. Okay. 
about midway through the ring is perfect. Next I'm adding another soft grizzle hen hackle, this one is just natural. couple of turns, again, as tight as possible. We don't want to move too far forward. You should notice by now you can just about see the guitar string ball behind all of the materials. Could only have gone forward maybe three millimeters maximum at this point. Just take your time to make sure that you can get them in as close as possible without catching any of your other materials. It's looking pretty good. So next we're going to add a short overwing and this is one of the, the best ways I think to make this style of fly have a good action in the water. You're creating a lot of mass at the head section with a nice slim trailing tail section. And when you have the top and bottom wing with the hackles like this it really helps make the, the back end of the fly move. Hopefully I'll be able to show you that to you at the end. Just pulling on the top fibers again and then pulling the lowest fibers at the, the waist section. You can see that taper there is almost the reverse of the, the top one. Then I know that it's nice and tapered with the rest of the fly and I can cut away the waist. Try and get as close as you can. We can always cover the rest with the, the thread when we finish off. Looking good. I think we're ready for some jungle cocks now. It's up to you how you tie in your jungle cock cheeks, if you even use them at all. I've stopped using them quite a bit on the flies I fish with these days. But personally, I prefer to tie them in one at a time and fold the stems back just to make sure that they're, they're super secure. You can always check at the front to see whether they're in line. I quite like them to be not too long, but follow the same, same line and shape of the fly. and fold the stems back just to secure them in. just going to finish off with a little bit of glue. Personally, I am totally fine with just putting a bit of glue 
on the first stage like this and pressing it in with my finger and thumb. This really makes sure that that first layer of materials and threads is nice and solid. Give it a couple more wraps and then a little bit more glue again, pressing in and cutting off just through the first hair of materials there is a nice way to finish off a fly. I've never had any issues with it catching on rocks and destroying the fly, things like that. If you're uncomfortable with it, it's easy enough to put on a cone or a disc or something like that. But to me, this is more than good enough. I'll just press it in nice and hard and it's ready to finish. If you have a scalpel it's best but I just use my scissors and cut straight through right at the edge. The scalpel will maybe be a bit cleaner, but I'm using it to fish, so I'm happy. I just need to check if it looks any good. This is the first time I'm tying a silver doctor of any kind. I don't know if it looks anything like the original, but I quite like the look of it. I'll definitely give it a go. You see how all of the materials are pressed up against the hard edge of the guitar string ball there. It's a nice little bit of resistance for all of those materials to fight against a hard current. I would use this fly in fairly fast flowing water with a free swinging hook on the back. You never know, it might just be the one that gets the big boy. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do, but keep coming back for more. We'll keep uploading. Cheers. Tight lines.